Today we are talking about a game changer in TypeScript 5.5 that will make your Angular apps more robust and less painful. This is something I've been waiting for years. So let's dive in. In TypeScript, handling arrays with undefined or null values was a pain. Even after filtering out the undefined or null, TypeScript would still complain that it might be undefined or null. But with TypeScript 5.5, inferred type predicates fix this. Now TypeScript understands the filtered arrays type. Let's see this in action. So this is a fairly simple application in which we have a type defined of fruits. So there can only be three kind of fruits right here. Then what we have here is a fruit source array, which can have a fruit or null. So it contains two null values right there. And then we basically create a signal to keep these fruits. Finally, we render them using a for loop. So we go inside and then we try to render them with uppercase. Now notice that here we are using a question mark because some values are null. So if they are not null, then they are basically rendered. Otherwise Otherwise, they are not. So if I remove this, then you see the actual error, which basically says object is possibly null, which is okay because right now fruits actually contains everything that is a fruit or a null. Now, if I wanted to create a computed based on this, this is how it would look. You can see that we are creating a computed signal right here and we are filtering the whole fruits signal and we are checking if the fruit is not null, then assign it back. So this filter fruits should actually contain a signal of only fruits and no values should be null. However, even if you see it like this right now, if I go and change this to filtered fruits, you will notice that still upon removing the question mark, I will still get the same error, even though this cannot not be possible because I've already filtered the fruit so there should not be any null values still we get the same error and this has been a major issue when I was developing angular applications because I would always get stuck into this and I would always have to check via a question mark or just by saying that no I know what I'm doing but as you can imagine it felt ugly and not really cool so now all I have to do in this project is to install TypeScript version 5.5 and if you're using angular version 18.1.0 then you already have this installed so this should be fixed for you. So now that I have installed this, let's see what happens if I run the project. All right, so you can see that it compiles, but if I remove this ugly hack that I added before, let's see what happens. Boom, you can see that it still works and I don't even need to put a question mark or an exclamation right here and it works out of the box. And the main reason for this is that this function right here is a bit different because of inferred type predicates. So if I tear this function out and let's say I say fn equals and then if I look at this particular function and I would have to give this type fruit or null and then I can use this inside right here. If you look at the function, you'll see that this results in a predicate that is fruit is fruit. Since I'm using fruit not equals equals null, it can already predict that the fruit is always going to be fruit in this particular case but if I change this for example then you can see that it is always going to be null so this change is based on what is being returned from this particular function so I'm going to revert this back and you can basically go to its documentation which should be in the description of this video and you can read the same here this basically explains the same concept that if we had a situation where there would be a variable that could be undefined or null we could just put an if condition and that would work out of the box but when we had something like an array it would still throw an error that it is possibly undefined or null depending on the type that you already have but with 5.5 or typescript 5.5 it automatically works out of the box and for this we have to thank dan Vendercom, if I'm pronouncing the name right. And the fun fact is that this person is not really part of the TypeScript team himself. So he fixed one of the biggest issues in TypeScript that has ever existed. And here's the pull request that got merged on March 15. You can also go and read about this. It's a huge PR, a lot of comments and a lot of interesting discussion. And this should also be in the description. Well, and that's how TypeScript 5.5 solves a major problem in Angular with inferred type predicates. And if you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, the usual stuff and hit the bell icon for more quick tips and if you want to take your angular skills to the next level check out the angular cookbook second edition which i just recently released and i always make sure that it is up to date with the latest angular version and it contains a lot of topics from component communication to unit tests end-to-end -end tests animations and also progressive web apps and optimizations according to performance as well so this is my go to cheat sheet because i often forget things about angular and most of the topics i can find within this book so find the link in the description and as always happy coding